welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing a very imp important topic uh, which is a uh, uh, Nobel Prize award winning topic olefin polymerization in the past few lectures. In this uh, regard we have uh, approached this topic from uh, two perspective. Uh, to, be, uh, to start with uh, we have looked into it from the perspective of uh, uh, application uh, point of view. Particularly we started talking about uh, polymer classification uh, from the application, application perspective and uh, the, we had spoken about various kinds of polymers like uh, th thermoplast, uh, duro, uh, plastic, duro, duroplast, elastomers, uh, elastoplastic materials or thermoplastic elastomers and reversible duroplast. So, these were all uh, classified based on the properties of the polymer. Uh, then uh, in the same topic we have looked into polymer classification uh, based on uh, the chemistry perspective from a chemistry perspective based on the process in which uh, uh, by which they are uh, synthesized. And in this context we have looked at two kinds of uh, 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 classification one is condensation po uh, polymerization the other is uh, 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 addition polymerization depending on the reaction uh, uh, by which they are formed. For example, if they use a condensation reaction where a small molecule is eliminated as a pass uh, as a uh, path to polymerization then uh, these are condensation polymers whereas uh, when the monomers are just added without elimination of any a molecule they are called addition uh, uh, polymers and for uh, one main feature of addition polymer is that uh, the composition of the monomer and the composition of the repeat unit of the polymer uh, are uh, the same they are constant. So, uh, we have uh, done that and again we have also uh, uh, looked into the classification of polymer from the uh, perspective of the mechanism uh, uh, point of view and these were uh, uh, from uh, the mechanism by which these polymers are uh, formed. In this context uh, these uh, polymers can be divided into two types based on the pathways they uh, take one is uh, um, step growth polymerization the other is uh, chain growth polymerization. Uh, and we had uh, seen what are, uh, what are the their characteristic molecular weight profile of the polymers so formed in this process as a function of uh, person conversion uh, 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 of the reaction polymerization reaction and what we had seen that the uh, that in the step growth process the molecular weight uh, sort of uh, increases uh, drastically significantly towards the end of the polymerization uh, that means uh, uh, towards the end of uh, at higher person conversion. Uh, whereas, uh, molecular weight does not have a bearing in case of uh, uh, chain growth polymerization on um, percent of the conversion uh, of the polymerization reaction. So, in this context we have also uh, um, uh, discussed about uh, the various types of uh, uh, polyethylene uh, which are ob obtained and the types of processes uh, which are uh, synthesized and uh, polyethylenes can uh, are of three types uh, based on their uh, densities. Uh, the first one is LDPE. Uh, these uh, these are uh, synthesized by uh, these are called low density polyethylene. Polyethylene ca can be classified into three uh, parts. The first is the LDPE or low density polyethylene. Uh, the next one is HDP or high density polyethylene. And uh, the other one uh, may be I uh, write it later. The next one after low density polyethylene is LL, LLLDP. This is linear and then is HDP 
is high density polyethylene. or HDPE, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, there are uh, three uh, 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 types of polyethylene depending on the branching, uh, this polyethylene uh, has different material properties, some are soft, uh, some are hard and brittle, some are transparent, some are opaque. Now in the last uh, class we have uh, also discussed uh, uh, about uh, the uh, industrial processes uh, that are used for pre uh, preparing uh, these kind of uh, uh, polyethylenes uh, and uh, the first one that we had spoken about was uh, this uh, ICI Imperial Chemical Industries Uh, first uh, developed uh, this pro uh, process for pro uh, preparing L uh, LDP linear low density propylene in 1993. So, this is probably the oldest uh, polyethylene polymer uh, to have been uh, prepared industrially and presently uh, these LDP are prepared uh, radical polymerization using oxygen initiators. So, like peroxo compound uh, now uh, these uh, uh, radical uh, radical uh, polymerization uh, uh, is not uh, good because uh, it has several uh, limitation requires high pressure of around uh, 2800 bar. So, uh, uh, and also the reaction is uncontrolled as a result polyethylene uh, obtained uh, are branched uh, has significant branching uh, and they are soft material without non crystallinity. So, the next uh, 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 process uh, are the process which is uh, uh, used for preparing uh, high density polyethylene HDPE is the Philip process. Uh, this was discovered by Hogan in 1956 and uh, uh, this uh, uh, is used uh, for making uh, this high, uh, high density polyethylene and it was using chromium trioxide as the catalyst and uh, 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 precatalyst as the precatalyst. Uh, but uh, the real uh, the chemistry was done uh, uh, and this was done on a heterogeneous fashion uh, heterogeneous uh, uh, fashion on silicon uh, su silica surface. Done on a heterogeneous fashion in a uh, silica uh, surface ok. Uh, so, uh, uh, this uh, 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 Phillips process uh, actually uh, uses chromium 2 and chromium 4 uh, uh, as the um, active metal uh, centers which carry out this uh, polymerization process. Uh, we have also uh, uh, seen that the improvement of the Phillips process was uh, reported by uh, Union Carbide. Uh, union carbide which use uh, uh, chromosin uh, which is promotion low valent uh, low valent chromium uh, compound 
uh, as the uh, uh, precurs uh, pre precursor uh, for uh, um, uh, this uh, HTPE. Now, uh, there is uh, another uh, very variant of the Philip process uh, uh, which, uh, uh, which uses hydrogen to control the chain length. So, chain length. under Philip process uh, chain length of the Philip proce uh, pro uh, process uh, uh, is controlled by metered addition of hydrogen. Uh, chain length of the is controlled under metered addition of uh, uh, hyd uh, hydrogen uh, uh, and uh, that uh, sort of uh, gives rise uh, to uh, uh, this low density uh, poly polymer and this is how uh, this LLDP is uh, produced. Now, uh, in context of this, uh, uh, these uh, uh, there was a significant uh, discovery uh, which is uh, uh, another process called unipole process uh, unipole process from union carbide uh, which uses uh, 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 which uses fluid bed reactor and uh, they have been used uh, for producing uh, both LLDP as well as HDPE. So, uh, um, uh, this uh, is an interesting process. So, what we see if we uh, 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 sum up uh, that there are several industrial processes involved uh, 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 for uh, uh, producing various grades of polyethylene uh, to start with it was the uh, ICI or imperial chemical uh, industries. Uh, uh, currently also radical polymerization is used uh, with oxygen initiators for producing uh, LDP uh, low density polyethylene. Uh, for HDP it was a heterogeneous uh, uh, chromium uh, trioxide process in 50s uh, by called Philip process uh, uh, which was uh, producing uh, HDP and then uh, union carbide uh, comes into play and uh, produces HDP with uh, chromosin, uh, which is a low valent chromosin precursor. And finally, um, uh, by a, a controlled metered addition of hydrogen uh, to Philip process, uh, one can uh, get uh, L, uh, LDP, LLDP uh, as well as LLDP. So, uh, Philip process uh, can give both, uh, it can give uh, HDP and uh, Philip process with uh, hydrogen. Uh, can also uh, give uh, LLDP. And after this, there was a technological breakthrough uh, in form of uh, uh, this unipole process uh, uh, which uses fluoride bed reactor, uh, which uses fluoride bed reactor and then uh, these uh, can be used uh, for producing both uh, LLDP and uh, HDP. Uh, uh, so, this is a technological uh, breakthrough. Uh, from union carbide where they have gone from convention uh, conventional uh, reactor uh, to fluid bed reactor a new technological uh, development uh, for producing this high molecular weight uh, polyethylene. Uh, so, uh, this uh, uh, shows uh, uh, the chemical uh, reactivity space uh, for uh, um, uh, from an industrial perspective uh, for producing uh, 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 the various grades of uh, polyethylene. Uh, uh, so, uh, what we can see that uh, this low density polyethylene is the one which is uh, uh, produced by radical polymerization whereas, both uh, LDP and LLDP, uh, uh, LDP and LLDP uh, they are uh, 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 produced by uh, ionic, uh, ionic or cationic uh, coordination in insertion uh, polymerization. Uh -huh. So, uh, now, now 
Now we are going to move on to something uh, more interesting uh, and uh, uh, that uh, during the course of uh, the development of all these Philip process uh, uh, and then uh, Unipol process, there was a parallel uh, development on Ziegler development towards uh, uh, Ziegler not a, a, a catalyst uh, was uh, taking place simultaneously uh, and it all, the story all starts with uh, this off bow reaction uh, or chain growth reaction on aluminum uh, and so we are going to take a look at this ex uh, exciting development uh, uh, as uh, uh, we uh, proceed further in this uh, lecture. Of bow reaction. Uh, the off bow reaction is this reaction is uh, primarily used. Used for the formation of linear aliphatic compounds with a maximum chain length of C200. So, uh, at that time uh, this was a sort of polymerization on the back of aluminum uh, of bow reaction uh, which is called chain uh, growth reaction at the back uh, at the uh, back of aluminum and which could give uh, 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 alif linear aliphatic compound of maximum length of C200. So, that is uh, really long uh, chain compounds and the reaction of this is given as R2 Al ethyl N minus 1 CH2 CH2 at 90 to 120 degrees centigrade 100 bar gives R2 Al CH2 CH2 N. Now, uh, what is happening is these CH2 CH2 unit it is getting added on this uh, metal ethyl bond uh, in high pressure. And this uh, off bow reaction, this is what is called uh, off bow reaction. And this uh, reaction competes with uh, another reaction called hydroillumination. Off-bow reaction competes with another reaction called hydroillumination. Uh, 
and this is given as R2 L CH2 CH2 R dash giving dehydroalumination sorry uh, this is uh, uh, dehydroalumination R2 L H plus CH2 double bond CH R dash and uh, this can be explained as a beta hydride elimination and and this is explained as such hmm. so uh, one gets uh, aluminum hydride and uh, uh, this uh, alpha olefin. Now, these are really a long chain uh, uh, products, long chain polymer. And uh, Ziegler, uh, uh, Carl Ziegler uh, uh, was observing uh, this uh, formation of these uh, long chain polymers in his laboratory during systematic study of off bow reaction. Uh, Ziegler Ziegler observed an opposite effect that is quantitative conversion of ethylene to 1 butene uh, a quantitative uh, 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 so, instead of uh, observing a uh, very high, uh, 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 high polymer chain width, uh, the Ziegler observed that in one cases, uh, uh, the, uh, he had uh, observed a quantitative conversion to just oligomerase product or dimerization of ethylene to 1 butene. And uh, this was a, a surprising observation. and was later attributed to the presence of impurity in the reactor 
and this is supposed to be nickel impurity reactor and that was later known as the famous nickel effect. Uh, so, uh, 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 while uh, while pursuing this uh, uh, while pursuing this uh, uh, off bow reaction under different condition, uh, carrying out a systematic study, uh, Professor Ziegler, Carl Ziegler, observed that uh, in certain cases uh, 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 exactly opposite was happening. That is, a conversion of quantitative conversion of ethylene instead of making polymer was making one butene, and this was sort of uh, contrasting a and surprising observation at the time of the study where the focus of the above uh, reaction was to make long chain polymer and here we were they were quantitatively getting dimer. So, uh, this surprising observation was uh, later attributed to the presence of impurities in the reactor uh, particularly uh, the nickel impurities and uh, which was uh, uh, famous uh, which was later uh, came to be uh, known as the famous nickel, et uh, nickel effect that actually triggered uh, the discovery. Uh, of ziegler nada polymerization. So, with this uh, uh, I stop uh, come to an end of today's lecture. In today's lecture we have looked at uh, the various uh, industrial processes uh, that are prevalent or were prevalent uh, in producing or accessing various kinds of polyethylene ranging from LDPE, LLDPE and HDPE. And we are also uh, uh, put in a perspective various uh, discoveries and changes that were affected on individual processes uh, to access each of these uh, uh, polymers. Uh, uh, we have also uh, looked into uh, uh, the uh, uh, beginning or uh, of ziegler nada uh, 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 discovery, beginning of the discovery of the ziegler nada catalysis starting from off bow reaction and how uh, the opposing effect of nickel, uh, 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 nickel impurities uh, led to dimerization of uh, eth uh, eth ethene. Uh, ethylene to uh, one butene. Uh, so, that uh, uh, was later recognized as the famous nickel effect and which uh, even uh, triggered the discovery of ziegler nada catalysis. So, uh, uh, so, with this uh, I thank you for being with me in this lecture. We are going to uh, be uh, discussing further from uh, the point of nickel effect uh, to ziegler nada and various type of other uh, ziegler nada uh, catalyst examples as we take this topic up in the next class. Uh, till that, uh, thank you and goodbye.